Hey traders, Jason with a Day Train Fearless. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple cool, uh, cool uh, indicators that you can use for day trading, just keeping things very simple and easy, right? So the first thing is going to be a moving average, right? We're going to use a 200 period exponential moving average for uh this is what i've always used i love it for short short term uh trading um so we're going to just add the 200 period on the one minute now sometimes you're like hey i wish i knew what the 200 period was doing on the five minute but be able to see it on the one minute chart well guess what i'm actually going to show you how to do that so I actually have a custom moving average. It's a setting of 994, so 994, okay? And that usually comes out to equal what the five minute chart is with the 200 period moving average. So we could see as we come down, bounce, right? As we come back up, resistance, fall, come back into it, right? Resistance pull back resistance right and then fail if you want to help support my channel get some education and also weekly trade levels then make sure you check out my 99 dollar s p future weekly trade zone and video course bundle you will receive support and resistant trade levels every single weekend and you will get my top five trading strategy video course bundle with my top five uh trade strategies that I use on a daily basis. So for more information, check the link down below or go to daytrainfearless.com. But back to the video. So these two moving averages are just really, really uh, strong together, right? Um, if you use them on the same chart with a one minute chart, but you're able to see the 200 period of a five minute chart. Now the third indicator is going to be uh, what I call the Globex VWAP, okay? Now, if you see, this is actually just a anchored VWAP, right? And that starts right when the market opens. And a lot of times, look at this, price came right down to it and we found buyers, right, for a bounce. So um, these are really, really powerful uh, type of a training indicators to keep things very simple. So if we rallied all the way back up, I would probably look for this to line up, hopefully with something else to the left, like a resistance level or a consolidation or something like that. But um, what I'll do is I'll leave a link down below in the description of this chart with these three indicators on uh, because a few of them are custom indicators. They don't come standard with Thinkorswim, so I'll leave them down below uh, in the description for free. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.